Hey everyone, this is B from Lamborghini for me, and we're here at Manhattan Motor Cars in New York City, where they have a special Huracan that is up for sale. This particular model is taking the mid-engine V10 Lamborghini lineage to a whole new level. We present to you the 2020 Lamborghini Huracan Evo Coupe. This walk around tour of this 2020 Huracan Evo Coupe in Grigio Artis will be broken down into four parts. First part, we're going to talk about the exterior with some unique changes that are different amongst the previous Huracan lineup. Number two, the interior portion of the car with some notable changes and new technologies that are integrated within the car. Number three, its performance that makes it not only powerful in its class, but smarter. Last but not least, a summary of the Huracan Evo along with who to contact to in order to finance this beautiful car. Without further ado, let's start with the exterior portion of the tour. Lamborghini still kept going with their best-selling mid-engine V10 lineup, and for good reason. The Huracan Evo is the evolution of that lineage. They still kept the Huracan look going, but it's more than just a facelift. Starting with the front bumper, it has a front spoiler, diffuser, and air curtain that keeps the nose of the car plainly firmly on the ground while you're driving. And also, it kept the signature Epsilon shape that Lamborghini likes within the front bumper as well. Here we have the LED headlamp, three bulbs, here, here, and here. All of them together shows a very powerful light as demonstrated next. We have two bonnet lines, one here and one there. Quick quiz. Which Lamborghini introduced the bonnet lines? Three seconds. If you guessed the Countach, you are absolutely correct. The Countach first introduced the bonnet lines when it first came out of production. Its new lightweight 20 inch Asia rims with blue calipers makes it extremely stylish. The Huracan Evo also has a long side skirt. And wait, look at that. Look at the air duct right there. That is similar to the iconic Lamborghini Murcielago that also has air ducts. Alright, we're done looking at the front and the side view of this car. Now let's mosey on and look at the back side of this beautiful Huracan. It comes with a rear diffuser that pushes the air out effectively that increases the vehicle's downforce and grip on the road. This part is very similar to the one on the Huracan Performante that does the exact thing. It also has high mounted titanium exhaust with the valves that are included within it that are similar to the ones on the Huracan Performante. Lamborghini did a change with a fully integrated rear spoiler that is just for the Huracan Evo which also improves aerodynamic efficiency of the car. Last but not least, we'll go over the rear hood of the car that encloses the engine. Beautiful markup that is different amongst the other ones. These panels right here, very smooth carbon fiber, protects the side of it. Here we have the badge. Sorry, but it's out of focus. Let me focus. Yep, you see the badge right here. Then you have the other panels on the other side. And you have it in glass casement of the engine itself that we'll go over later under the performance. Here are the panels. It's very pristine, very beautiful, and it makes it an overall great look. Just got the keys for the Huracan Evo Coupe. Now we're gonna start the interior tour of this beautiful car. Can't wait to go right inside. Let's unlock it real quick. We're now doing the interior tour of this Huracan Evo Coupe. Absolutely marvelous. This coupe is finished in all black leather Alcantara, which is one of the most innovative lightweight materials that you can find in any supercar. Also, Lamborghini introduced for the first time ever the carbon skin, which is a carbon fiber material exclusively available from Lamborghini, making any experience, whether you're the driver or the passenger, a great one. Is this what I think it is? Yes, indeed. Yes. Cup holder right above the glove compartment of the passenger side of the Huracan Evo Coupe. At least there's one. Now I'm gonna make way from the passenger side into the driver's seat and turn this system on. Let's go.
All right, now we're in the Huracan Evo Coupe, right inside. Feels pretty roomy, it's over six foot, so. Now let's turn on the actual car. Just electronic systems though. Oops, let me turn it on. Oh, great HMI, beautiful. Dashboard, very nice. Mirrors are folded. Yep, they're folded right out. Okay, now let's talk about the dashboard. Here you have the dashboard of the Huracan Evo that is identical to the other previous Huracan models. Very crystal clear view that shows you viable information of the car. Whether you're in sports mode or the electrifying Corsa, the dashboard still holds its purpose of the overview of the car, making it very intuitive. Now we're moving down to the steering wheel of the Huracan Evo. Sorry if it's too close for you guys, try to focus. Now you see the upper pedals to upshift, feels really nice. Downshift on the left side. I like it how it handles. I like the grippings of it with my big hands. It feels good. <laughs> now we have the belt pulse right here. It increases windshield speed for the windshield wipers right here. You see middle for the horn. And last but not least, the blinkers as well. All these buttons and the steering wheel for you to access. The Adaptive Network Intelligence Management Technology, or Anima for short, provides three types of driving modes for the Huracan Evo. Each mode of this car has a different performance option to provide an unforgettable driving experience. First one is the Strata mode. You can drive at ease in this mode, ideally for daily driving. If you're looking to step it up a bit, switch to the Sport mode. Better handling, some oversteering, and overall more thrilling than the Strata mode. If you really want to release the full power of this Huracan Evo, step it up to the Corsa mode. You will definitely feel like you are racing with its top performance capabilities and would need to head to the nearest track to enjoy this mode. Right in the middle, you'll see some buttons that also operate the car as well. First, we have the reverse handle, parking button, and manual mode button. Pull the reverse handle back one time to reverse it and press down to put it in drive again. And of course, let's not forget this crazy ignition button that makes the Huracan Evo come to life. Reminds me of a missile launch button. <laughs> can either press it through the cover hole or flip it and then press it. Y'all ready to hear a cold start and rev? Yeah? All right, I'm gonna ask Miss Viviana to start it up for us. Be right back. Let's check out the latest technology of the Huracan Evo cockpit, which is this cutting edge 8.4 inch touchscreen system. Let's accept. So here's the latest HMI for the Huracan Evo, similar to the Lamborghini Centenario, the main control system of the car. Here we have the LDVI, which will further elaborate in the performance section. There are other settings and customizations you can do as well, all with the touch of your fingers. Let's find the radio, shall we? Thank you, Toto. Check out the latest navigation system with 3D mapping that receives real-time information on traffic. So far, so good. No traffic here. Thank you, New York City. Here you have the sound system that can control the treble and bass of the speakers, as well as balancing the focus of the sound. Let's say if I want my co-pilot to have most of the sound, I'll just shift it there or back to me if I want to be greedy. This is a cool feature as well. The Huracan Evo introduces ambient light, which has an onboard light display in the cockpit. Let's say I could change colors to orange in sports mode. It goes to orange. Let's say if I want to do red, it goes to red, also displayed in Corsa mode. I can also change the brightness as well. I want to make it blue since that's my favorite color, as it's also displayed in strata mode.
As you are all aware, Lamborghini coupes are not known for their spacious storage space. <laughs> Just enough for a few groceries, maybe a few eggs or so. When you get this new Huracan Evo, you have two kits for the car, as well as a travel bag right here to represent Lamborghini no matter where you are around the world. I don't know about you all, but I'm already sold with this Huracan Evo. <laughs> However, we have to delve into its amplified performance that completes the total evolution of the Huracan Evo. Let's open the rear and see its powerful engine in full detail. Here it is everyone, the engine that powers the vehicle. The glorious 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 engine. Identical and already appreciated for its outstanding performance on the Huracan Performante. Lamborghini re-engineered the engine with improved fluid dynamics and titanium exhaust and intake valves, which delivers 631 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, 423 pounds per foot of torque. It goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and a top speed of 202 miles an hour, all powered with a very responsive 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. I'm back inside the cockpit showing you the most important addition to its performance which is, let's see, the Lamborghini Dynamica Villicolo Integrata or LDVI for short. This supercomputer is the brain of the entire car, able to control and manage every driving aspect of the Huracan. Think about it, a supercomputer predicting your every move and logging every single behavior of your driving every 20 milliseconds giving it a full understanding of the driver depending on which mode you're in. The LDVI controls the new all-wheel steering that gives the driver full control and stability while cornering at high speeds and braking. It handles all four wheels from the Lamborghini Dynamic Steering System and the Lamborghini Rear Wheel Steering System that controls the rear tires. Very cool. The LDVI also controls the all-wheel drive system of the Huracan Evo which balances all the power and torque of the car within the front and rear axles that guarantees full traction on all four wheels. I really like the fact that the LDVI system syncs the car and the driver together. With this new technology and performance, it allows an onboard experience that is intuitive and fluid. Big shout out to Lamborghini y'all with their innovation to bring new technology to push their car into new heights in terms of performance. Alright everybody, we're finished with the grand tour of this 2020 Lamborghini Huracan Evo Coupe in Grigio Artis. This car is perfect for any mood you're feeling, whether you are cruising or on the track. It shows excitement, elegance, and overall optimal comfort and performance. Powered by the re-engineered 5.2 liter V10 engine, along with additional exterior changes and the LDVI system, Lamborghini still kept its roots with its design, technology, and still being naturally aspirated. The MSRP price for the Huracan Evo goes for about $261,274 US dollars. For this brand new one, including the Ad Perseram color of Grigio Artis, the elegant style package, electric heated seats, 20 inch Asir titanium rims, and other options included, you're looking well over $290,000 US dollars. To get a hold of this special Huracan Evo Coupe or order one to your liking, contact Miss Viviana, the Lamborghini Specialist of Manhattan Motor Cars. We will pin a direct number to call for this Huracan Evo Coupe below. Special thanks to Miss Viviana and to the Manhattan Motor Cars for allowing us to tour and hear this beautiful Huracan Evo. Here at Lamborghini for me, we are here to give you the Lamborghini of your dreams. Take care everyone.